Kristen, thanks. And because of this winter weather, we have a big traffic heads up for you. Right. You cannot drive east of Albuquerque on I-40, basically all the way to the Texas border because the interstate is shut down. In fact, you can only go as far as Louisiana this morning. That's where News 13's David Romero is right now. Good morning, David. What's the latest out there? Good morning, Matt. You are exactly right. This is about as far as you will get. It's more specifically here, the on-ramp to I-40. They have it blocked and narrowed down to about one lane as you're coming east, and it, it just squeezes off right there on the exit here to Louisiana. Take a look off to my, well, let's start actually over here to my right. Uh, you can see a plow truck is just going by. There is an officer that is blocking that on-ramp. Those plow trucks are trying to make their way east and trying to get the freeway as clear and clean as possible because there is a lot of snow and ice east of here, which is causing a backup and which uh, police don't want to let anybody take any chances and get out to that area. Now take a look over here. You can see where the freeway, there is absolutely no traffic where otherwise there would be some this morning. Now, again, there are already some semi trucks backing up here on Louisiana. There's about two or three that we can see from our vantage point here on the bridge. Now, if you're going to be coming this way, you want to find a definitely find an alternative route this morning because, again, you will not be able to access eastbound I-40 from Louisiana. It's going to squeeze down to one lane near the uh, off ramp. So to avoid any problems, don't even come past, uh, I would say, San Mateo if you're going to be planning to come east this morning. Back to you. Update. Thank you for the update on the interstate, David. And besides that, you should know a lot of the city streets are going to be slick and snow packed as well, particularly the ones up in the Heights. So please give yourself some extra time as you head out this morning. You are going to need it. And take a look at this. Oh, we're not going to show you clients corners, but you're going to show us a picture mm -hmm. of Tucumcari or out west. You think it's bad here? You haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. blizzard like conditions. I mean, blizzard warnings out east for a reason. Not a whole lot of snow when it comes to totals, uh, but whenever you have the nasty wind that's involved with the snow still coming down very heavily, it is making for treacherous driving conditions. Look at that. Every time the snow comes down and they try to clear it on the roads, it just gets uh, snowy again and just gets covered once again. So that's I 40 out of Tucumcari, and you can see that you definitely. Definitely do not need to be out in the roads if you're anywhere out east. And of course, we're starting to see the snow uh, move farther to the east and southeast. So trying to clear out back to the west. Tucum carry almost in the clear here with the heavier snow starting to pass to the south and east down toward Grady and down toward Clovis. That's where we're seeing blizzard-like conditions there all the way into Texas. And then down in southeastern New Mexico, we're going to keep a close eye on how far south these snow showers are going to get. We may start to see some snow showers moving to Roswell. You can see some of that already happening just to the north of Roswell, but mainly light snow for now. Down toward Carlsbad, just to the east, we have a few snow showers there moving into Texas. Albuquerque, once again, in the clear. Up near Raton, we have very strong winds. We've had 66 mile an hour wind gusting, wind gusts up that way just within the last hour right now, 55 mile an hour gusts. And so we're still seeing very strong winds, 60 mile an hour gusts in Clayton, 44 mile an hour gusts in Clovis. So Raton, done with the snow, but not done with the wind. And the wind is still reducing visibility. So still very dangerous for you to be out and about across eastern New Mexico. And we're still talking icy roads from Albuquerque up to Santa Fe. I'll have more details on this coming up in your full forecast. And if you are getting ready to commute between Santa Fe and Albuquerque, expect I-25 west of Cotiti Lake to still be snow-packed and icy. This is video that was taken just south of Santa Fe on I-25 last night. Take a look. You can see a car on its side right there. The roads were dangerous last night, and they could be even worse this morning with the overnight freezing temperatures. So again, please use caution and allow yourself plenty of time to get to work wherever you need to go this morning. Now I want to show you the big picture of just how bad the roads are here all over New Mexico. Once again, I-40 pretty much all the way from Louisiana to the Texas border is shut down. Everything else you see there in red, that is closed too. We'll now get the latest on traffic with Bo Brock. Good morning, Bo. It's not looking good out there, is it? All right, Bo Brock. Having a little technical difficulties there. That's what the uh, frigid temperatures can do sometimes. Anyway, as Elizabeth just mentioned, up in Santa Fe, road conditions are going to be bad as well. Big news, just take your time, slow down. You're going to need it this morning. And uh, we'll come back and show you in Albuquerque again. I-40 eastbound from Louisiana. You're not going to go anywhere. And again, the roads up in the heights, they may be green right now. But let me tell you, they're snow-packed and dicey. And we'll show you Santa Fe one more time just for good measure because of the drive between here and Albuquerque. There in Albuquerque isn't going to be good. Elizabeth? You can also get the very latest on the road conditions around the state by calling 511 anytime or head to our website, krqe.com. All right, and stay with us. We'll have the latest on this winter weather and dangerous driving all morning long. It's right here on KRQE. 
new this morning. You can also stay up to date on our website at krqe.com. Now, in some overnight news for you right now, Albuquerque police are on the scene of a deadly shooting in the northwest part of the city. Let's take a look. This is what it looked like about 3 o'clock this morning at Sierra Vista and Manal. Police tell us they got a call about some shots being fired about 2.45. What right now they're saying one person is, was killed. We're told that person was in his or her 20s. Police have not said if they've arrested anyone. They've also not told us much else about this. As soon as we know, we'll pass it along to you. Check back on News 13 later today. In more overnight news, a Bernalillo County Sheriff deputy hit by a car. This happened about nine when deputies were investigating a crash at Bridge and La Vega. They say a car drove through the area and hit a deputy. And at some point, they say someone started shooting. Investigators haven't said who the shooter is, but the deputy who was hit and rushed uh, was rushed to the hospital. He should be okay, by the way. The driver that hit the deputy with the vehicle has been arrested. Bridge between 8th and Isleta will probably be closed for quite a bit because of all of this. We now know more about a fight that happened outside of a Santa Fe bar last month where one guy ended up dying. Yeah, we just got the police report on this showing exactly what happened at Tiny's Bar. It says James Rockford got into a fight. Three men then tried to break it up, and then Rockford was forced to the ground. At least one person told police that Rockford said he could not breathe after that. The report also shows. When police got there, officers didn't notice that Rockford was not breathing until someone told them. The officers did CPR and paramedics did too, but Rockford ended up dying. At this point, there is no indication that the officer acted inappropriately um, or uh, out of line with our policies. All right, Santa Fe's police chief Ray Real there says that the officer is still out on the streets. Well, later today, the man accused of stabbing another guy to death in Albuquerque a few years ago is finally set to go on trial. Police say Joseph Grovant stabbed and killed a man back in November 2010 in southeast Albuquerque. Investigators say a party there got out of control. Four people ended up getting stabbed, including Grovant and his girlfriend. Another setback in the case against two teens accused of killing their foster mother in Lincoln County. The Rodoso News says the trials of Desiree Linares and Alexis Shields have been delayed again. Both of them are now 16. They're accused of smothering Evelyn Miranda in her San Patricio home back in 2011. A judge delayed their trials again because there are so many motions being filed in the case. Both teens are locked up in a juvenile detention center right now. Well, we have a warning to tell you about about a scheme police say is going on all over New Mexico. It's about some con men who apparently are trying to break into your home and steal your stuff. Investigators say they've gotten a lot of complaints about people going door to door and telling folks that they need to upgrade their security systems and their alarms that the company they were with, well, went out of business. Then after that, these con men are then breaking into the people's homes. If you think you're getting scammed, call the police department's false alarm reduction unit. The number is right there on your screen, 768-2144. Scary situation. All right, five